We're looking at some graphs. Graphs are a really important tool to wrap your head around. They take some time because it's a whole different kind of mathematical thinking from what you've been dealing with before. It's not so much about symbols and moving them around like an algebra. It's about drawing pictures. So it's a whole new skill set to develop. Let's start with number one, okay? Here's the graph, and um, some of you might thought, ooh, is there supposed to be a 2 up here to make it x squared? I left it intentionally like this, number one, so it's a bit easier for you to start off. But also, all of these different families of graphs, you will learn how to draw. And these are two really important ones, okay? Y equals x minus 2. Uh, we've got it here drawn in and labeled very helpfully as this straight line here, okay? What I want you to compare it to, which by the way, do we agree? Looks good. Um, what I want you to compare it to is, what would the line y equals x look like? What would it look like? Hmm. Now I'm going to draw it. You don't have to draw it because your graph might get a little bit busy. Maybe it's already got three graphs on it. But I do want you to notice how I draw it. Just watch carefully. Here is what y equals x would look like. Okay. Now I want you to really carefully compare it to the graph that Leo has drawn y equals x minus 2. What things are similar? There's lots of things that are similar. Okay, number one, they're both diagonal, okay? But they're not just diagonal, like this line is diagonal too, and this line is diagonal. They're not just diagonal. What else could you say, Ryan? They're exactly parallel, right? So their gradients are the same? Very good. Those things are the same. What's different? There's only really primarily one thing that's different. It's moved around, okay? It's moved around. So you can describe this in a couple of different ways. Number one, you could say it's moved downwards. Can you see that? See how it's, it's sort of gone vroom, like that? That's not the only way you could describe the movement. How else could you describe the shift that's happened? It's not just gone down. It's also gone, can you see it's gone to the right? Just a little bit. How far? Two units. That's not a coincidence, right? That means go to the right, two units, okay? Uh, it's attached to this x, which is a horizontal thing. x is the horizontal axis, right? Okay, so far so good. Let's have a look at this guy, okay? Now, your graph should look a lot like the blue graph that we have drawn in here for y equals x squared minus 1. It should look a lot like that. Can someone tell me something that's right about that graph? I can see at least two things that are right. What's the name of this shape? Say it again, I didn't hear it. It's a parabola, okay, so thumbs up. That's one of the big differences between one and two. So the parabola is good. What else is accurate about this parabola? Yeah. Yeah, it's gone down, right? We know what the regular y equals x squared looks like. Maybe you want to draw this just on the side here. We've drawn this heaps of times. This has been turned into this by moving it down. And that's correct. We are supposed to move down, okay? But... There's something that's gone a little awry. It's very close, but it's not quite right. Jake, can you see it? Move down one too much. Okay, so we were supposed to move down one. This guy has moved down, can you see? Two units. So it's gone a little bit far, okay? We've got the basic essence there, though, so we can fix this up. This should actually be, it's very close. This shape like that, okay? And the intercepts are negative one, negative one, and one. Okay, this is very, very close. A lot of it's right. Can I also point out, and it is a bit trickier doing it on the whiteboard, <coughs> excuse me, there's a difference apart from the position between my orange graph and the blue graph. How would you describe it? Look at the picture quite closely. What else is different between them apart from up and down? Yeah, I can see people sort of moving their hands. Um, Aaron, what would you, how would you describe it verbally? Where they cut the x-axis. Okay, so these values here, They've also changed. When you move it up, do you see these also, they sort of move inwards? Do you notice that? And if I, if I move it far enough, you don't get x-intercepts at all. Like, look at this guy. See that? If I went x squared plus like 100, it would be too far away. It wouldn't ever touch. There's one more thing I wanted you to highlight. See how this part of the graph, it looks good? And it keeps on going further up and up and up and up. But do you see this one does something sort of different? Do you notice it sort of um, goes and just kind of leans back in this way? Okay, This is a very easy mistake to make. I want you to look carefully at your graph as well. What we're looking for here is, it starts with an S, the symmetry of this graph. It's very, very important. 
I was asking for that. Um, it's symmetrical. Can you have a look at your graph, please? And please make sure that in all the parts that you've drawn, it's symmetrical. If we'd drawn a little bit less, it would have looked a bit better, right? Uh, it's pretty hard to do it for anyone to get it exactly bang on perfectly, so that's why I always draw my graphs in pencil, and I encourage you to do the same, because it's very easy to get it wrong the first time. Okay? All right, so let me get rid of this one, and we've got our fixed up version in there. Okay? Now, <coughs> excuse me, this one here, this is a bit trickier. Okay? So does anyone want to describe for me, I shouldn't have put this down, does anyone describe for me, see how there's a plus one in there? What does that do? What does that do? Someone who hasn't, I've had a lot of great con contributions so far. How about this side of the room? Someone, no, I haven't got much from the right hand side of the room. Can someone tell me what the plus one does? Anyone? Any takers? Yeah, Nathan, what do you reckon? Okay, this movement, right? There is, a, there is a slide or a translation. That's, I think, what we mean when we say move, okay? And it's a bit tricky. You see this minus one, it moved you down. So therefore, plus one, it's not that illogical to think it moves up. However, I want you to think back to this question. And this is why I highlighted this, right? This one actually moves to the, which direction did I say it moved in? It moves to the right. Do you remember that? The reason why it moves to the right, it's about left, right, not about up and down, is because the two is next to a, an x. An x is which axis? It's the horizontal axis. It's the left-right axis. Do you notice that? Okay. So therefore here, see how the plus one is so next to an x? So it's also doing something left-right. That's a bit weird. Okay. So that's the first thing I want to point out. Is it left or is it right? Hmm. Which way did this one go? So this is a bit funny. It's sort of backwards, right? We're used to thinking of negatives as left, but when we graphed it, it obviously went to the right. So if this negative number means right, then this guy means left. Can you write that down for me underneath where you've written the question? Write down left, one unit. Agni, you had your hand up. If you want, you can plot some points to convince yourself. When you put in x equals 2 into this guy, y will equal 2 minus 2, which is 0. So that's 2 comma 0. That's moved to the right, hasn't it? From 0, 0 is where you would expect it to be. Okay, so and you can you can put in x equals three and x equals four, etc., and you'll just get a bunch of points, and they're all moved over to the right. Leo got it right the first time. Everything has moved over. Okay. Okay. Very good. We know this thing is going to move to the left. So I will draw a parabola, but it's going to be a bit more on this side than on that side. Okay. What about this number? Did you do your exercises yesterday and work out what that number does? Does something different? I'll give you a tip. It doesn't move it left or right or up and down. What does it do? Yeah, Jennifer. Yeah, very good. Do you remember we actually experimented on, De do you remember? We drew it on Desmos and we slid it around. Do you remember that? So this guy here means it's more narrow. Narrow, narrow is a good word, right? Or you could say it's more steep. Okay. So I'm going to draw it for you and then we're going to work out exactly where it goes. What color? Blue hasn't been used yet, right? Yeah, okay. So it's gone to the left, one unit, right? We know where parabolas usually are. What's that really important point at the bottom? What's it called? Starts with a V? The vertex. So the vertex is usually right there in the middle. But you've told me to move it over to the left, one unit. So here it is, to the left, one unit, okay? I can see how steep these are. So I'm going to make mine steeper. I think it's going to look something like this. Um, That's steeper than the original parabola, reasonably. Okay. Now, I want to know where are the important spots on this. You remember we wrote down this is negative 2 and this is 2. The intercepts are important. So how do I work out intercepts? We already know how to do this, Arib. Well, first, the vertex is already, you know where it is. Okay, I know where that is. So what, what were the coordinates again? 
or what's the number, sorry, I should say? Good. Minus one, very good. Negative one, okay. So that's good. What about this guy? I mean, I'm suggesting it's there. Um, Brian very helpfully put a scale in here, but how do I know it's actually there? If I got it right, how do I work this out? I'm gonna have to put something in. Think about this, you might like to jot this down. To find the, this guy's the x-intercept because he's on the x-axis. So what's this guy called? The y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, yeah, you remember, let x equal zero. So here's the equation. So I'm gonna go y equals two, two. What's gonna go in here? Zero plus one, very good. And I square. Zero plus one is? One, one squared is one. Okay, so there you go. So, more than just a pretty face, I did actually know that it was two. So that's the coordinate right there, and you're done. Okay?